Hey, this is Wileen Benson, and you are on the Daily Gratitude Call, where we start every day in gratitude. Gratitude is the highest energy state that we can be in. It creates a frequency of positive vibration that attracts positive experiences into our lives. Hey everybody, this is Wileen Benson. This is our daily gratitude call. Thank you for being on our call today. Appreciate everybody who is here live and also those who are listening to the podcast. I really appreciate um, all of those who are here live and continue forward even without me. I actually overslept this morning. So thanks again. Thanks Bill for, uh, for taking charge and for everybody um, participating while they waited for me to come. <laughs> so thank you all. Um, we are going to just jump right into our 90 second meditation. Um, we're going to um, meditate today on the subject of liberty, gratitude for liberty. Um, so I'm going to set the timer for 90 seconds. Have your own private silent meditation on gratitude for liberty. And we'll see what comes up. Begin. All right. I um, kind of a, a contrast or comparison is what came to me over this past weekend. Um, my family and I were talking a little bit about communism. We had a lady come and stay with us for a little while who's from Russia. And um, she's an older woman. She's probably, I would guess she's probably in her 80s now. And um, she was talking, she was sharing about uh, how in communist Russia, she was told what her job was going to be. Um, everybody was assigned a job and the job that she was assigned to was uh, really hard labor, hard physical labor and very small. She got a very small financial return for that. And, um, in contrast, when I went to Peru and was in, uh, Machu Picchu, they were talking about this community and it was, um, from what I interpreted it, it was like the closest to a Zion community that or like a utopia that I've, I've ever, uh, experienced. And they were assigned in that, in that community, they were also assigned a job, uh, um, ta um, like a profession, an internship when they were children, but it was based on their natural gifts. So in communist Russia, this woman was assigned just probably pull a number out of a hat. Okay, this person's going to do this hard labor job. Whereas in Machu Picchu, it was very well thought out and the leaders took into consideration desires, passions, um, interests, those types of things that um, uh, 
qualified that person to um, do that job in something that would be very soul fulfilling. And, and I just thought, what a contrast um, to be assigned randomly or to be assigned, you know, out of, you know, based on um, your talents and your gifts. And I'm grateful in America that we have the ability to choose. A lot of times we choose based on, you know, like a randomness because we don't know ourselves well enough or we don't know any better but then we also have the choice to choose something based on our passions and um yeah just seeing the differences and the contrast there who else has something that they would like to share i'd like to share here thanks um yeah i i didn't want to get up this morning (laughs) and um but you know i had a choice you know the and my alarm went off. I thought, well, I could. I went to bed late last night, and I thought, well, I could either sleep through and not, not do my gratitude call in the morning here, or I can get up and because I always have a choice. And then I was, you know, as I meditated, I I was reminded of the five second rule, where your higher self will speak to you for about five seconds. Mm-hmm. You will hold it in your memory for about five seconds with very subtle. Um, like here's something to do and then after five seconds then you lose your choice and you you actually do make a choice but it's an unconscious choice and it's Mm. an unconscious choice that follows a pattern of least resistance and then even if someone were to come into the room and let's say that your higher self said get up and go do something but then you just sit there and then you and then you make an unconscious choice to sit there and I'm somewhere to come into the room and say, get up and go do something. Then you would, you know, adamantly, you know, probably even get mad at them mm-hmm. for testing such a thing um, because you've already made your decision. And even though you didn't consciously do it and, and Eckhart Tolle, you know, says that, you know, people who, who act this way, they actually don't have a decision. They actually, forfeit their decision and they can't help but follow the the um the unconsciousness to run a pattern once that once that prick has or the the prompting has fled wow thank you it's um it's almost like we make the choice to um it, it the the choice to not follow through with what our spirit wants um, it's like we put ourselves into a place where um, we want to be forced. Um, that, you know, if somebody uh, encourages us to do something that we know we should have done anyway, it's almost like we have to put our foot down and be rebellious because I already made my choice. I'm going to sit on my bed, <laughs> which is uh, totally against what our spirit wanted. It's like we are rebelling against our own spirits. And then that, that rebellion translates into rebelling about against someone else who might be trying to encourage us to do our, to be our best. Wow. There, the, that's like a crazy, you know, kind of energy that we're creating there by making that choice uh, to rebel, rebel against our own spirits. Thank you. Who else? I like to share. Okay, thanks, Daniel. Yeah, I just a couple of things come to mind, um, like physical freedom, uh, being able to go where you want to go, uh, mm-hmm. or being like confined. As I am now over here in mm-hmm. New York City, it makes me understand, you know, like what a horror it is to be in prison mm-hmm. um, and just simply be caged in. But it's also such a thing that's freedom from fear. You know, freedom to think for yourself. Uh, and we have so many different masters. Uh, uh, and so, like, you know, I yearn also to be free. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's something all of us can relate to. Thank you. Who else? I'll share. This is Rachel. Hey, Rachel. The first sentence that came to me is, my country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. Mm. Um, I just was 
completely full of gratitude for the freedoms I have in this country with religion and being able to make so many choices from my for myself like being able to express my myself in the mm-hmm. way I want to express myself um so I'm, I have all, I've had barriers in my life already and I'm grateful that religious barriers and governmental barriers aren't something I have to work through that I can have those freedoms already beautiful thank you I too have been really I think because of this global pandemic that we're in right now we're so much more aware of other countries and um and that's something that I'm super grateful for as well. I'm grateful for the sacrifices that our forefathers made to come here and to create a place where we could have religious freedom. You know, the my whole, everything that I teach and everything that I am um, with, my, uh, with my clients, with this gratitude call, with ev- you know, everything that I do, it, it has an undercurrent of God in it. And you know, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to fully be who I am if I lived somewhere else or in a, sif- a different time. Um, it's, it, it's just like such a, a blessing to be able to fully express ourselves in the way that we that we choose to. Thank you. Who else? I'd like to share. All right. Thanks, Tammy. So the thought that came to me are that liberty is a God-given right, and God always honors our agency, Mm -hmm. and um, God, God created us to act and not be acted upon. I was reading um, a speech yesterday um, and it was talking about the level of intelligences that God created in the pre-existence and how um, how we as his literal offspring were His gr- the greatest level of intelligences. And I just feel so much gratitude for that in in having that gift to act um to change and become like him and just how much um greater levels of freedom and liberty i experience as i use my agency my liberty to draw closer to him beautiful thank you so true um you know, I've heard uh, also that Satan comes unbidden. His minions will will sneak up from behind and just kind of sneak in without us really wanting them here, you know, even knowing that we're they're there. But God and his angels will only come if we ask. And, you know, I just feel the total difference of that, of, of, um, you know, trying to force or trying to force themselves on to us. Um, God and his angels would never do that. There's, um, if we make a choice, like, you know, Phil, in the example that Phil was talking about, if I choose to just sit on my bed and not get up, God's not going to come in and, you know, shove me out of bed. He'll just wait (laughs) until I'm ready. And uh, it's, Sometimes you feel like you want them to force, but it's, uh, it's such a blessing that he really has given us that opportunity to, um, to make our own choices. And I'm, I'm also really grateful that he's always there whenever we do turn to him, whenever we do ask, he's always there and, and ready to share more. He really wants to increase, help us increase that intelligence our intelligence, um, spiritual intelligence and, and knowledge, um, with regard to, you know, what he wants to give us and is always there as soon as we turn to him. Let's go ahead and shift over. Thank you for everything that has been shared. This is a great opportunity for us to shift over into a place where we are going to be turning to him to ask for, uh, additional knowledge that will increase our personal intelligence, spiritual intelligence. 
Everybody go ahead and just take a deep breath. Thank you everyone who has shared. Thank you for being here. Just giving your, lending your, your spirit, your intelligence, your um, essence, your soul to this call, your energy. One more deep breath. And just getting yourself into a place of um, gratitude. Just place yourself into an energy of gratitude that we do have the liberty that we've been invited to come into God's presence at any time. And just the, the gratitude and love that we feel for someone who is all powerful, all knowing that has invited us to come into his presence at any time. We don't have to make an appointment when you have to knock on the door <laughs> that all we have to do is just show up. We're always constantly invited. And standing in God's presence to ask any question, no question is too small or too large. No request is too small or too large for God to receive and to give you next steps, give you inspired shortcuts, to give you answers. And so just allow that request to formulate in your mind right now. Standing in God's presence, if you need your spiritual intelligence to be enlarged and increased, what is the request that you need? What is your question or what is the, the skill that you need? What is the, um, the ability or the, the information that is lacking that will help you to feel more confident, to move forward more confident with um, higher intelligence, a, a higher level of knowing. What do you need to build, go forward more confidently in your life? Feel more spiritually enlarged, spiritually, mentally, physically, whatever it is. And asking that question, being open to receive whatever answer you receive. And even if it is just something really random to write that down, or if it's something really small, just to honor that, accept it, receive it gratefully. Whatever that answer is, just being um, grateful. And as you're, you're receiving that answer, clarify what is the one most important thing that I can do today to act on this new information? What's my inspired shortcut to moving forward and becoming more confident and knowing what's important around this particular area of your life? What's your inspired shortcut? And also listen if there is a limiting belief that might be showing up for you. What's the limiting belief that will, would hold you back from taking action on that inspired shortcut or would disallow you from taking action on this new information that you've just received? What's your limiting belief? Mm -hmm. 
And with that limiting belief comes a cost. So we'll make sure that you examine the cost of that limiting belief. And then you have a choice because we are at liberty. We can choose to hold on to that limiting belief and rebelliously sit there and not take action. Or you can choose yourself to give yourself permission to um, choose a new belief. And if you're ready to choose a new belief, say yes. 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 Awesome. So what are those new beliefs? What are two or three new beliefs that are going to take the place of that old limiting belief will empower you to take action and will give you the, um, the motivation to use your liberty to take action on those next steps and to honor yourself, to honor God with this, um, with gratitude, the inspiration that he's given you today. What are your new beliefs? All right, we have a few minutes that um, I'll be opening up in just a second to um, allow for some shares. I um, also want to uh, offer that if anyone is feeling like they need some extra support in this area, if um, maybe you've been rebelling against your spirit far too long, but you're, you haven't quite developed the skill to be able to be obedient to your spirit or even to hear what your spirit needs, I would love to have a conversation with you. It would be a really perfect opportunity to um, have a 15 minute conversation with me to, to get over this hump. Um, you do that by going to askwileen.com, askwileen.com. That will take you directly to my calendar and you can schedule a 15 minute call. So askwileen.com and that's a free mentoring session with me. Who has something that they would like to share about their experience today? I'll share. Thanks, Rachel. So my limiting belief was um, people will not respect me. Mm -hmm. And um, the cost is I won't stand in confidence of my gifts and intelligence, and I will stand in defeated energy. Mm -hmm. And my new beliefs are I respect my higher self and intelligence. I know who I am. I know God's plan for me and I take action with pure excitement and gratitude. I'm choosing to act for myself and it feels so good. Wow. Super powerful. Thank you. I appreciate you sharing that defeated energy. If we stay in our limiting beliefs, we are already defeated. I, that's, ugh, I, I'm just like feeling even the physical defeated energy that you just shared. I mean that if we hold on to our limiting beliefs, that's the kind of energy that we go, we face the world with. And, you know, if you think about going out onto a battlefield with defeated energy, it's like just a moment of time or it's just a, a matter of time before that army would be defeated. And we have to go out with a victorious attitude and a victorious energy that and faith that we are going to be victorious and you've created that with your new beliefs thank you rachel any last thoughts before we close our call today i'll share thanks suzanne this is Sam. Um, so my limiting belief was I, I'm still dealing with the um, not recognizing the answers and staying stuck in, in my tangled mess of trying to un, un, untangle things. And so um, my new belief is I recognize and see with clarity the path to align with my spirit 
and I act boldly on the inspiration I receive. Well, Thank awesome. Thank you. What's, um, Suzanne, what's an opposite word of uh, tangled? If you were, um, well, I, I was thinking of untangled, but that that's still using tangled. Yeah, if you were thinking about like you're, you've got a string of lights that are untangled, what what is what would you call that string of lights? You wouldn't say it's an untangled string of lights. Would, what would you call it? They're, they're straight or aligned. Straight, um, aligned. Yeah. And, and ready to use too. Like it's, um, you, yeah, I'm just going to suggest that you, um, find some new beliefs that use those words. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you everybody for what has been shared. I, I want to just give a special shout out and thank you to Phil for, um, standing in for me at the very beginning of our call as I slept in and super grateful that I woke up when I did and was able to get on the call with you guys and uh, experience this. Um, what a, a fun way to start our morning and to start our week. This energy of liberty, of victorious, of straight, of aligned, of ready to be useful, um, ready to listen to our spirits and take action when we feel that um, inspired next steps, those inspired next steps that we um, obey those next steps so that we're utilizing our choice in a way that is going to empower us to help us to step forward in faith and in victory. Thank you all for being on the call today. We'll look forward to uh, tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Mountain Time, and we'll talk to you then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks so much for listening. And I encourage you to tune in every day to the Daily Gratitude Call. And the Daily Gratitude Call happens live every weekday morning. I'd love to have you join. So to find out how to join live, go to my website, wileenbenson.com. Thanks for tuning in.